All right, so first example of solving the equation. So again, quick, quick uh, guideline. The letter and the number have to be on opposite sides, right? And you're always doing opposites to do eliminate. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I like to mess with the numbers before I mess with the letters. So I am going to move the number to the other side. What does that mean? It means I'm going to eliminate it from the left side. The opposite of subtracting 21 is adding 21. That puts the 21 over on the other side. Now I'm going to rewrite it. Now you may not have done this step, and I'll, I'll show you how to do it a different way. Now I need the letter on the left. So I have to eliminate the 7y. And the way I do that is to subtract 7y. But if I want to maintain my balance of my equation, whatever I do to the right, I must do to the left. So now these are going to cross out and leave me with 21 on that side. If I had 10 yams and I ate 7 yams, I'm down to 3 yams. So 10 y's take away 7 y's is 3 y's. Now this is 3 times y. The opposite of multiplication is division. So you divide. Those cross out and make a 1, which is what I want. 21 over 3 is 7. So again, get the letter on the left and the number on the right. Now, you may not have wanted to do this. You may have done this. And I want to show you the other way to do it. You may have said, screw this. I'm going to do minus 10y and cross this out and do minus 10y here. And then I'm left with negative 21 on the left. And here I have 7 take away 10, which is negative 3. And then you have to divide by negative 3. And the problem with this is that people mess up their signs. You have a negative over a negative, which is a positive, And 21 over 3 is still 7. You get the same answer. It's just reversed. And to be honest with you, this looks backwards to me, and I don't like it. Why will I avoid this? Too many negatives. Negative there, negative there. I can avoid the negatives. A lot of times you can avoid them. So if you can, you should try to. Okay, so second example. I see a lot of mistakes on this particular problem. Again, as I said before, I want the letter and the number on opposite sides. The letter is already on the left, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it there, even though there's a negative in front of it. I have to get rid of this positive 3, right? There's a positive. You don't write the plus, but this is a 3. The opposite of a plus 3 is a minus 3. So I need to do a minus 3 to eliminate that one. But if I do it to that side, I have to do it to that side. And they cross out. Now, you have to be super careful here. This, this 3 is gone now because 3 minus 3 is 0. But this drops down. You have to make sure that negative stays in front of it. I see this sign disappear all the time. And on the other side, you just have 11 minus 3, which is 8. Now, remember, all about opposites. Solving equations, you're always doing opposites. The opposite of multiplying by negative 2. You go divide by 2. No. You're multiplying by negative 2. So you have to divide by the same number that's in front of the x, which is negative 2. But whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So I divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 over negative 2 is 1. 1. You don't write the 1. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. Could you check this? Yes. If you wanted to check it, you could plug it back in. You have negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Yay, it works. But you don't need to check them. You can check them in your mind if you want. The equations get more complex. It's not practical to check. Again, so just be really careful with the signs when you do them. Okay, the third example. Ooh, this one's, do you get a fraction? I don't know what to do. So, again, one thing at a time. I like to manipulate the numbers first. You should always do the numbers before you do the letters. And you should always try to get the numbers on the right. Now, I don't want any numbers on the left, but I have a negative 8 there. So I have to do a positive 8. I have to add 8 to get rid of this. But whatever I do, I have a scale. It's balanced. If I add 8 to the left, I have to add 8 to the right, or I have disrupted the balance of my scale. Negative 8 and plus 8 cross out. That's 0. So you're left with x over 5. <laughs> Uh-oh, this is tricky. You owe me 12. You pay me 8. Now you owe me 4. It's very important. You do the sign rules here wrong, <laughs> then the whole problem is screwed. So be very careful when you're doing the arithmetic here. Now, 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I have X over five. So you ask yourself, what does it mean? Remember, solving an equation is all about doing opposites to things. Opposite of multiplying is dividing. But here I have dividing. So I need to do the opposite of division. The opposite of division is multiplication. I'm going to multiply by five. I mean, if I divided a number by five, the only way to get back to where I started would be to times it by five. But I also have to times this side by five. Now, this five and this five are going to cross out. One is up and one is down. Five divided by five is one. That's my goal is to get a one in front of the X. Get the X by itself, put a one in front of it. And then negative four times five is negative 20. It works. Negative 20 divided by five is negative four. Negative four take away eight is negative 12. So again, add eight to eliminate the negative eight to both sides. And you have to multiply by five to get rid of the five that you have on the bottom. The opposite of division is multiplication. All right, so the fourth one, certainly the hardest of all of them, you have five over eight X <laughs> plus two is 37. First thing is easy to get rid of. I have a plus two on the left that I don't want there. So I'm gonna subtract two to, to eliminate that. Opposite of adding two is subtracting two. But again, to maintain the balance Whatever you do to the left, you must do to the right, and you must show it. So now, the plus 2 on the left is gone. 37 minus 2 is 35. And now the question is, what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, you're doing two things to this x. You're multiplying it by 5, right? The 5 on top is multiplication, 5 times x. On the bottom, though, this means division. So then you're dividing by eight. So you took this number, you multiplied it by five and you divided it by eight and you got 35. You should not be able to do this in your mind. <laughs> so, but opposites. So remember what I said. So you can, you, can, you can think of it this way if you want. You multiply by five and you divide by eight. You don't have to do that. But basically you have to do the opposite of these two things. You have to do the opposite of multiplying by five which would be to divide by five, you have to do the opposite of dividing by eight. So what's the opposite of dividing by eight? That would be multiplying by eight. You see how I just switch this around? All I do is reverse that. And the numbers are gonna all cross out. So this is basically what you, this little trick is, whatever number is in front of that X, you flip it over and you multiply both sides by that. Why did I do that? The eights will cross out. Eight divided by eight is one. Five divided by five is one. You see how I crossed them all out? Whatever number is in front of X, you flip it over and you multiply both sides by that. That crosses them out on the left. Now, do I really want you to do 35 times eight and then divide that by five? I don't think so. Remember 35 is seven times five, right? Hopefully, you know this. So I'm going to divide 35 by 5 first, which gives me 7. And then I'm going to do 7 times 8, which is way easier. 7 times 8 is 56. I may not have the numbers this big when you do your exam or quiz, but this is just how it works out. So again, I get the x alone by subtracting the 2. Now I have the 5, 8, x. I take that number, whatever it is, the bottom number goes on the top, the top number goes on the bottom, and I multiply both sides by that. This crosses out everything on the left side. Eight on top, eight on bottom. Five on bottom, five on top, they all cross out. And then you just always do the division first. This number will always be divisible by this number. I designed the problem that way. You will always be able to divide these, all right? You're not gonna have a calculator, so you can't do 35 times eight and divide that by five. That would be ridiculous. There we go. The very last example. Now, this time you have X is on the left and right and numbers on the left and right. My personal preference is to have the letter on the left and the number on the right. Now, I just want to point something out, though. If I were to eliminate this guy from that side, I would end up with a negative two here on the left. 
And the thing is, I don't like negative numbers. Negative numbers are bad. Negative numbers are scary. So these are equal to each other. Equal. Balance. They are the same. So I can just take this dude and put him over here. They're still equal. And then I can just pretend that it was like this in the beginning. <laughs> now I'm not going to have to worry about a negative anymore. You could always put the bigger number, x, on the left. Now I have to do the opposite of subtracting 13, which would be to add 13. And now I'm going to eliminate him. I have to do 5 plus 13 now on that side, which is 18. Now I want the letter. I don't want any letters on the right. I can only have letters on the left. So I'm going to do the opposite. Again, I have a positive 7x. I'm going to subtract 7x. That will eliminate him from the right. So now I have my number on the right, and my letter will be on the left. 9x's take away 7x's is 2x's. Opposite of multiplication is division. Again, I have to do it to both sides to maintain my balance. You have to maintain the balance. Now, I do want to point out one thing. Could you have done this simultaneously? Absolutely. If you are comfortable with doing them together, so look, plus 13, plus 13, cross out the dude that eliminates. Minus 7x, minus 7x. Cross out the dude that eliminates. And then in one step, you get to 2x equal 18. You can do it in one shot if you want. If you want to do them in two separate steps, cool. If you want to do it in one step simultaneously, cool. Either way, letter on the left, number on the right. 